Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Together, let us pray. Let us now prepare ourselves for the celebration of the Holy Mass. Today, on the Feast of the Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Manresa School celebrates the lives of three outstanding women of God. Our Blessed Mother, Saint Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, and Saint Candida Maria de Jesus. In the Gospel, we find Mary, who was with child, go off in haste to her cousin Elizabeth to assist her as she was soon to give birth to John the Baptist. It is a joy to witness sisterhood and fraternity between these two women, women who served quietly, who were there for each other and for others, who would be emulated through the centuries by people in the many ministries of service and consolation, especially to those in the margins and those in need. Near to our own context, we know that 19 centuries later, on May 31, another woman of faith, Juana Josefa Sepitria y Barriola, who would later become Saint Candida Maria de Jesus, was born. It certainly is not a coincidence that heaven decreed that she be born on a most special feast of the Blessed Virgin. Mary was always a mother and protectress to Saint Candida, who, just like the person she had a great devotion to, would dedicate her life in service, in the Ministry of Education in the Faith, marked by the characteristic traits of filiation and fraternity, which was so in evidence in the first visitation. Manresa School is one of the apostolic instruments for the re realization of her charism and mission. In a way, we here in Manresa School can be said to be her descendants, as we strive to educate and evangelize according to her style, putting the person at the center, disposing him or her to love Jesus wholeheartedly and to serve him faithfully. And so today, we come together in this Eucharistic celebration to bear witness to the flourishing of grace and harvest reap because of the total self-giving of three outstanding women of God. Let us now begin our celebration of the Holy Eucharist by welcoming our priest presider, Reverend Father Joseph D. Landero. Let us actively and joyfully participate in the singing and the responses throughout the Mass. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In order to prepare ourselves for the Eucharistic sacrifice, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess altogether, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, 
in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who while the Blessed Virgin Mary was carrying your son in her womb, inspired her to visit Elizabeth, grant us, we pray, that faithful to the promptings of the Spirit, we may magnify your greatness with the Virgin Mary at all times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us all be seated and listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. 
Shout for joy, O daughter of Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you, as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song, let our response be. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord. And He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations, make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation of city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Let us all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord will be fulfilled. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does, does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things that the rich he has sent away empty. 
He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us all be seated and listen to the homily. Good morning to everyone, to the Manresa community, to Sister Mary and the Ihas de Sus sisters, the teaching, non-teaching, staff, personnel, parents, also the students who are joining us online. Happy fiesta po sa inyong lahat. Of course, because today we celebrate the Feast of the Visitation and then also the 177th birthday of St. Candida. Kaya happy birthday na rin sa inyong lahat. Uh, last Thursday, the priests of our diocese, we gathered in the diocesan center for our annual medical checkup. While I was still lining up, I received an urgent message if I could administer the last sacraments to a sick person in a premier hospital. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's my first time. Then I realized nung ginugil ko siya, ito pala yung hospital in Ambel. And ito yung hospital na dinadaanan ko early morning, I would celebrate Mass with the El Shaddai. So when I was there, I was expecting, kasi sabi sa akin, 80 plus na yung may sakit. So I was expecting to find an old lady who could not talk, who could not receive communion, and who is very sick. To my surprise, when I entered the room, the lady was very talkative, very jolly, full of spirit. And she was so happy to see me, to the point that when I approached her and started preparing her for the anointing of the sick, receiving communion, hinawakan na niya ang kamay ko, ayaw na niyang bitawan. Kaya sabi ko sa mga anak, mukhang tuwan-tuwa talaga si mama, kasi hindi niya mga po, si lola po ninyo. Sabi nila, yes, father, kasi when she was still at home, every day she attends mass. Online, when she was still able to walk, she would go physically to the church. Na, natigil lahat yun. So, ayan, dumating kayo, Father, tuwan-tuwa siya. Parang ayaw na niya akong pakawalan. Kaya ako naman, I just did my, my part to administer the last sacraments. Ang nakakagulat, after all the sacraments have been administered, sabi ko sa kanya, Lola, Talagang I can see that you are prepared to go to heaven. Sabi niya, yes, Father, because I finished my pilgrimage and I'm ready to go. Sabi ko sa kanya, Lola, I always believe when a person dies, tapos na yung mission niya. Kaya tulad mo, sigurado sa langit ka na. Ang nakakagulat, biglang umiti siya sa akin. Sabi niya, Father, I'm going to heaven. Gusto mo sumama ka sa akin, Father? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko inaasahan yun. Kahit pari ako, naisip ko, my pilgrimage is not yet over. I still have so many mission or businesses to do and to fulfill. So, sabi ko na lang sa kanya, Lola, gusto ko po talagang pumunta sa langit, pero mauna na po kayo. Mauna na po kayo. And then, Lalo niyang hinigpitan yung paghawak sa kamay ko. Tapos tubing ulit sa akin, sabi niya, Sige, Father, mauna na po ako, ha? Tapos susunduin ko kayo. <laughs> Lalo akong kinabahan. Kasi ayaw niyang bitawan yung kamay ko. And the children were egging her, Lola, Mama, aalis na si Father kasi may naghihintay pa nakasal sa St. James. So, sabi ko naman sa kay Lola, Lola, pag hindi ako nakarating on time, baka maghiwala yung ikakasal ko. Ako ang magkakasala niyan. Ako magiging sanhi, baka mag-away pa yung dalawa. Kasi na late yung pare. So jokingly, binibiro ko siyang ganyan. Tapos ngumiti siya, sabi niya, Yes, Father, 
Biro lang lahat yun. But you know, I'm so thankful for your visit. And I'm so thankful that I received the body of Christ, the presence of Jesus in my heart. We just celebrated yesterday the ascension of our Lord into heaven. And the ascension reminds us that heaven is our final destination, that heaven is our real home. That's why you notice, no matter what you do here on earth, there's really nothing that can fully satisfy us. The only probable explanation is because we are not just meant for this earth only. We are meant to be with God in heaven. You know, we read the gospel on the visitation when Mary brought Jesus in her womb and visited her cousin, Elizabeth. That was the first evangelization action, a mission that Mary did in the New Testament. And how did Elizabeth receive it? She received it with joy. In fact, the unborn, John the Baptist, was leaping. There was exultant joy. Napakagandang pagnilayan nito kasi nasa pandemic pa tayo. In fact, we are still wearing our masks, like social distancing, and the school year has ended still without the presence of the students. And many have been affected. Your families, your community, some have lost their jobs, some have even disappeared. At uh, wala na dahil nagkasakit, na COVID, namatay. And so we are in a difficult situation. And the challenge for us, for all of us, is in this feast of the visitation is to imitate Mary. Na kahit may dinadala siya because she was also carrying Jesus in her womb, she traveled far to reach out to someone who needed help because Elizabeth was on her sixth month. And it was not easy on the part of the Blessed Mother, but yet she carried the Lord and she brought joy in her visitation. Uh, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI says, the greatness of Mary lies in her willingness to magnify the Lord in her life. Let's ask ourselves, do we also carry the Lord when we encounter one another? Do we bring joy? Yung bang natutuwa ba yung kasamahan mo, yung isudyante mo, yung kapwa mo, uh, ka-opisina, ka-empleyado, na pag nandiyan ka, presence, present ka, you are bringing joy. You're bringing the good news. Napakaganda kung tutularan natin yan. In the same way that St. Candida also lived and practice the same gospel of joy to other people. They say there are two types of situations that can define us. The first is when you have everything, check your patience. How is your patience? Kasi pag tendency, meron ka na lahat, nagiging impatient tayo. Di ba? Kasi kaya ko naman to. I have the ability. I have the know-how and I can do it. Pero bakit ang tagal? Walang results, ang bagal ng iba. So check your patience. And then, the second is uh, when you have, ano yung una? You have, when you have, when you have nothing, check your patience. The second is when you have everything, check your patience attitude. Yung attitude mo. Nananatili ka bang matatag sa iyong pananampalataya? Nananatili ka bang steadfast sa commitment mo as a teacher, as an employee? Nananatili ka ba na uh, matibay sa iyong pananalig? Lalo na because these are times that are difficult. So these two situations define us, your patience when you have nothing, and then your attitude when you have everything. In these two situations, 
Does your faith come out that you continue to be a messenger, a messenger of joy, a messenger of hope, and a messenger of faith to your community here in Manresa? Let us reflect on this because the challenge for all of us as we celebrate this feast of the visitation is continue to bring to continue to bring the good news no matter what it takes no matter how difficult it is please do not ever get tired of being a good person with a good heart a bringer of good news to others and giving hope to others inspiring them so that you can uplift them I know how difficult it is sometimes when you feel like you're being abused or taken advantage of and feeling like it's better to be cold-hearted sometimes. But you know, the world needs people like you who give hope, who give joy, and who uplift and inspire other people. Let that be our prayer. Pagka ganun sana ang attitude natin, Parang wala lang itong pandemic kasi gaan ang pakiramdam. Napakagandang pumasok sa trabaho, maghanda ng lesson plan, magpatuloy sa pagtuturo, sa gawain, because we can feel the presence of God in this community. And we can attest that this is a community of the Lord because Jesus is with us, brought by you. And your presence brings joy, like visiting someone who need help, just like the Blessed Mother in her visitation to her cousin, Elizabeth. May God bless us all. Let us now stand and profess our faith by expressing also our deep desires, our needs in our hearts, as today Elizabeth was honored by the visit from the mother of her Lord. But Mary only wished to share her joy. As we rejoice on this feast day, let us bring our prayers to the Father who cherished those chosen women. Let our response be, overflow us with your graces, Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. that the church may fully open the heart to God's word and proclaim it with joy to all peoples and cultures. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. That leaders of nations may devise programs for building a better world. In the spirit of Mary's humble service, let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord that through the inspiration of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may in intensify our efforts in creating a better social center. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. That our loving Father may graciously bestow his paternal blessings to all the Ihas de Jesus sisters to keep fully alive their charism heighten their burning zeal for the spread of the kingdom, and consistently seek the welfare of their neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. That Manresa School may continue to be faithful to the charism of Saint Candida Maria de Jesus and be fully an effective channel of molding and sharing the hearts and minds of children and youth to make them great credible agents of peace, justice, unity, and harmony in this present world. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow, Overflow us, us with your graces, graces, Lord. That the ever-caring God may sustain the energy, enthusiasm, interest, and earnest desire in all of us, and make our collaboration more dynamic and faithful in the mission entrusted to us. Let us pray to the Lord. 
overflow us with your graces, Lord. That all those who are sick may find in Mary a true refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow, overflow us, us with your graces, graces, Lord. That all those who have gone ahead of us may savor the eternal joy in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow, overflow us, us with your graces, graces Lord. For the May celebrants, especially Mr. René Renton, our former village president, a former parent, her son and daughter, his son and daughter graduated from our school. For his intentions and the intentions of other May celebrants, let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Overflow us with your graces, Lord. Lord God, you put down the mighty and raise up the humble. Aided by the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we entrust our hopes to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated and prepare ourselves for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, may our offering of this saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed mother of your only begotten son who lives and reigns forever and ever amen, amen. the lord be with you and, and with lord. your spirit lift up your hearts we we'll lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices 
In your presence forever may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Found of all holiness, make holy therefore the skips we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, especially Saint Candida Maria de Jesus, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A 
at the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we now pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always be from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof, but only, but say, only the word, say the word, my soul, my soul shall, shall be healed. Christ. For those who are attending the Mass online, let us together recite the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please all stand. Let us pray. O oh God, may your church proclaim your greatness, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as St. John the Baptist left for joy when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in this sacrament the same ever-living Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us honor Mother Mary and Saint Candida through our flower offerings, and together let us sing a Marian song. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and let us invoke God's blessings. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual choice and heavenly rewards. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. On behalf of the whole educative community of Manresa School, I would like to thank Father Joseph B. Landero for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. Thank you very much, Father Jolan. Oh, no.